Welcome back to DXB today. Now it is still the week of Gitex. That means it's all tech and AI, and we're very excited to introduce our next guest, who is a global media and tech thought leader, recognized by Forbes magazine as one of the top 50 leaders in the MENA region. Please join us in giving a warm welcome to the managing director for the Middle East and Africa at Meta. It's Ferris Akkad. Ferris, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. I thought I was on the show when uh, when I read that you were going to be here. <laughs> I, Ferris Akkad and Ferris Akkad. We're very, <laughs> we, we must have had a, a split somewhere. Now, I am very excited that you're here because I'm a big fan of uh, the Meta Quest. I had the Meta Quest, I had the Meta Quest 2, and I'm excited for all the Meta Quests coming. Mm. Is there anything that we can be excited about in the world of VR and Meta? Absolutely. There's a lot of stuff that we can be excited about. So first of all, speaking of Meta Quest, uh, we announced a new Quest device that is uh, you know, smaller, lighter, faster, but most excitingly cheaper. So under $300, which uh, as you know... Now you're talking my language. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, I think the key to this is accessibility. You know, our, mm. our point is to connect the world and, and that's not some of the world, that's all of the world. And, and the goal is to bring it to a price point that is available to most, if not all people. And, and I think the journey of trying to bring that price down is, is, is very essential. And it's very easy to do stuff that is um, complicated but expensive. It's much harder to do stuff that is complicated but cheaper. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got to, ha you've got to find those right price points, otherwise it's, uh, everyone's out of the market. I'm really interested to know about Meta Connect. And you know where where is Meta heading in terms of innovation? Because I mean, you guys just never stop. Do you ever sleep? Well, it's 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 a very competitive world, yeah. you know, and and it's an exciting world. Like Meta Connect, for those of you who don't know, is is our event where we announce all of our kind of big announcements, big development, and the roadmap for the next year. It happened to have had to take place last week, mm. and there's some very exciting announcements. We spoke about the Quest. I think the most exciting you know the, the the piece that stole the show is orion which is which is our hologram glasses they basically look like glasses but you can project uh, hyper realistic holograms that you can interact with you can have multiple screens you're able to play games with someone in, in somewhere else in the world it's, it's powered by ai you're able to engage with it interact with it it can look at at uh, buildings shapes boats and tell you you know what you're uh, what you're looking at um, and it has a tremendous amount of potential in terms of, of usage. So think about a, a pair of glasses that you can wear most of the day and, and they're tracking you know, your activity, et cetera. And, and it comes to dinner time. I think it happens to all of us. I look at my dish and it says, hey, today you've already had, let's say, 1,500 calories. You're looking at 700 calories. If you want to stick to the 2,000 calories, maybe skip the fries. It can allow you to to manage your contacts, it allows you to, to measure your vitals, and all of this in a very sleek and, 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 and seamless uh, wearable device. It allows you to translate any language to any language. Uh, so the possibilities are endless. The other quite innovative thing about Orion is that it also the way you navigate Orion is through a very sleek uh, wearable bracelet that detects very subtle movements in your hand. So you're not having to do any of these type of, as I talk usually, I'm, I'm quite <laughs> Minority physical. Report. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, but also, you, you know, you can be very, very subtle in, in how you manage it and, and, and seamlessly be able to engage. Um, you know, the previous guest mentioned doing this on the plane, where imagine doing this on the plane, but with subtle finger movements. The Orion was definitely my favorite part of the presentation. It's very much out of a science fiction movie. It's ballistic what you can do with it and super, super exciting technology. How long did it take you guys to sort of come up with the prototype that you showed at the conference? So Orion has been in the work for, I would say about 10 years. Wow. It's been tagged project Orion for about five years. So these things are, are very complicated to do at a commercial level, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you could do these things. I think many of you might have seen the Mark interview, hyper realistic with Les Freeman, etc. But those things exist from a technology standpoint, but to bring them out to the public at an affordable price is is where the complexity really lies. And and to see this demo live um, was mind blowing. Mind blowing for everybody. I had the pleasure to 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 see it, and it's it's really a, a step change in in human interaction. Yeah. I think that's still a little while away, but I think you also have the Meta Glasses with partnership with Ray-Ban. And honestly speaking, those are my favorite gadget of this year. I went ahead and bought them the day they were released. They are such a pleasure to use. They don't feel techy at all, which is the best thing about them. It's they are fantastic. Awesome. They are stylish. And you know, uh, Luxottica has done a fantastic job in, in you know, Ray-Ban, mm -hmm. the mother company, and now they're coming out in, in, in other brands as well. 
but the, the beauty of them is that you know, I've used them also in the summer, and even, even when I'm not actively using the AI or not testing, the, they, they're just perfectly good sunglasses. They, they have the right weight, they have the right style, an ad feature that you can go live, you can WhatsApp, uh, you can have WhatsApp calls, you can share your experiences with others, and it, they have built-in AI. I can ask it questions, I can, you know, it, it plays music, I can take calls. So it really wow. frees you up to live your life, but adds this layer of technology that makes the world a little bit richer. Absolutely, and they look great doing it as well, <laughs> considering we've got a very similar style. Yeah. And there you go, yeah. <laughs> you guys are twinning. I like your style. <laughs> and you guys are definitely twinning. <laughs> but Faris, you know, the, the technology is already so advanced with the launch of Orion. Like, it's mind-blowing what you guys have come out with, right? But how will, will, how will it evolve, you know? Where do you go from here? The, the ceiling is already so high that you guys have already hit the ball out the park. Where do you go from here? So look, the beauty of, of Ariane or, or our approach to AI in general is that we're going with an open source approach. Mm -hmm. Open source means that anybody can develop for our platform. And being a, a free AI operating system that is available for all levels. So you can develop at a mobile phone, or you can develop at a supercomputer, and anybody is open to develop. The creativity from our experience comes from the ecosystem. So people, people ask me all the time, we were talking before the show, like how do you keep up? I, I, you know, I don't have to be the expert on how to use creatively our apps. I think the goal is to provide the infrastructure and the platform for the community to start developing for it. So I think you're gonna see some really creative applications and uses developed by the users all around the world, leveraging this technology. The development of this technology is very complicated and costly, but once you have the ability, let's say, to speak in one language and the other person hears you in another language, wow. you can imagine the scope of, of potential for the, what that happens. We've seen tremendous uses in the educational sector. Um, there's, there's a company out of Nigeria that's providing access through WhatsApp uh, to, to educational material for people who don't have access, and that's also powered by AI because Meta AI now will be available on all of our messaging platforms, WhatsApp, Instagram, Messenger, etc. cetera. Um, you have the possibility of, of being able to leverage these wearables in fitness, which is another area category that's growing very, very fast. You can, you can you know, basically have a battle at the Coliseum uh, you know, wearing those those glasses. Um, what you do in your spare time, Faris, is completely up to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, is, it is what I do in my spare time. It actually is. Well, you two are really, well, really hey, related. Like, if you want to go to the Coliseum, let me know. <laughs> we'll let you know. Faris, listen, we are so tight on time, and I'm sorry, because I know that we're all like listening to every single word, and we're desperate to know more. Um, but we have to move on, I'm sorry. But thank you so much, because I can't even imagine how busy you are, so for, for taking the time, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank indeed. you for having me.